All right, you guys, taking a look at, uh, we got a system that's actually icing up right now. They've had this system installed for a while now, and uh, it, the company that's been out, it's been out quite a few times and really kind of blaming it on them on what's going on here. But either way, we need to look at replacement. We got an 80,000 BTU furnace that's really not up to code, even with that gas pipe being drained, coming over. Uh, so look at that, oil, supply plenum, new return airdrop, and typically getting into our five inch filter, give us better air quality, make sure we don't pick up any winch. As you mentioned to me, that's pretty dusty in the home, even with cleaning people here. So we're gonna take care of that. Uh, we're gonna look at the 50 gallon water heater. Obviously all new food piping come into here, which is a five inch T by four, or currently by three. Um, if we went high efficient on the furnace, we wouldn't have to worry about a little door Go right out through here. Uh, let's take a look at that. Once I get outside, look at the AC. Uh, we got a pretty large opening with daylight going through. Want to get that close up on the outside here. Um, and then the real main focus is actually a mini split in the garage, which I'm going to get another video of that. Um, I had mentioned combustion air to them, but they had actually just passed a couple years ago with this opening here, and this opening here. Again, worst case scenario is a couple of vents or um, or a louver door. So gas dryer, gas furnace, gas water here in a pretty confined space.